FEC data shows that some senior citizens across the U.S. have been donating thousands of times per year. You're listed as someone who's given um, over 31,000 individual contributions to to various causes for a total of $230,000 using your name in this address. No, that's, that's not us. That's not you? Do you think you can find at least some of these individuals? That's what I do, sir. This is James O'Keefe with OMG. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And uh, uh, many people like myself were eagerly anticipating, waiting for James's first report to file from O'Keefe Media Group. And last night, he did not let us down. Now, it wasn't exactly as splashy as, say, the Pfizer stuff. However, the video served an important purpose, not only to show people how easily you can get out there on the ground and investigate some things, but also possibly revealing massive money laundering for Democratic fundraisers, uh, companies through Act Blue, potential uh, people's identity being used, in, used hundreds of thousands of times in small donation amounts that when asked, they knew nothing about. This is an absolute bombshell and probably just the first step in a multi-level investigation that needs to happen. Let's take a look at some of the things that he revealed. So in this video, and I, I want obviously James to get the views, so I'm not going to watch the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to pick out a few things that I thought were extremely concerning, uh, extremely interesting. So the crux of this interview is there is a public database available where you can search up people's political donations by their address. Many of the people he picked out to look at were elderly and appeared to be middle class or lower middle class. Many of them had wild donation amounts. Some of them thousands of donations in a single year, meaning they would have had to donate up to three times a day, every single day for the entire year. An 80 year old woman who works for the park system was credited with a whopping 19,000 donations and 170 thousand dollars in donations now we can't know for sure but a couple of things come to mind first and foremost money laundering who is laundering money through act blue to back democratic candidates now most of these people appear to be democrats and most of them actually did say at some point they had donated some amount of money to act blue but obviously not 18,672 times, like this particular individual. 18,672 different contributions that total an amount of $170,221. No, 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 no. Right? If we look at the actual video, some of these individuals, as he goes through the towns, right, this first guy, is a weirdo never trumper who just demands he wants to club trump apparently <laughs> apparently he's just a weirdo a weirdo uh guy care of that now this guy as you can see lives in a dilapidated home is being credited for thirty-one thousand dollars in donations to democratic presidents happening? let's see what you think you're not aware of that happening Dr. Donald Trump. So he doesn't know anything about the political donations, and his response is, talk to Donald Trump. Talk to Donald Trump? Well, how would Donald Trump help me answer that question? Hit him with a bat. Hit, hit. hit Donald Trump with a bat? Yeah. Right over the head. How would that help me answer this question? It would certainly keep you in the news. I want to see a, a scar. So I don't know what this, this guy has a complete meltdown, slams it. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, Cindy No of Annapolis. So, and then there's other individuals, right? There's a this individual here, which you know has is credited with let's say dollars and seventy seven cents. That means Cindy would have had to donate three times a day every day for the whole year. And again, these homes are not. I mean. <clears throat> maybe they live, I mean, I'm not 
again, let me, I'm, they're regular working folks' homes, all right? But it's, these are not su po political super donators. Hello? Hey there, Cindy. My name's James O'Keefe, and we're doing a story on, um, on the amount, number of people that have donated with your address. Did you donate to Act Blue? Political cause. How so, many times a month do you donate? So she's again somebody who has donated. Donate to Act Blue? I don't know. I don't know how many times. I don't understand why. Why um, I'm getting this? It, well, the question is. One critique for James here. You know, these people are possibly are perhaps being, you know, the victims of identity theft, unknowingly being included in these things. So I probably would have said, hey, you haven't done anything wrong. I'm not here. I'm just, I'm trying to see. So tip to the people out there doing citizen journalism. If you're asking these people, maybe help get their guard down. Like, hey, I'm not, I'm not with the cops. I'm trying to help you because I don't think you, this little old lady made, you know, 900, over a thousand donations in one year. You did donate to Act Blue, right? Yes, uh, once in a while, yes. Did you donate a thousand and nine times? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I may, once in a while I donate five or, or so dollars or something like that during election year. What about $18,850? I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Not no. that many donations? No, I don't think so. <laughs> what, what, the Federal Election Commission indicates that that much money was donated to Act Blue and Biden for president. I wish I, I wish I could have donated eighteen thousand dollars to Biden. So again, these people, Democrats, who probably have, at some point, donated money to presidents. By the way, stop donating money to politicians, citizens. They don't need your money. They take plenty of money from corporate lobbyists and all these other people, keep your money, all right? These people all seem to be kind, working class people. Don't give your money to Joe Biden, all right? Just don't. There's another one here, Caroline Lenz. Okay, this is somebody who is 80 years old, supposedly made 18,672 individual donations, meaning you go to that website 18,000 times for $170,000. 18,000 contributions? Absolutely not. For the... For Absolutely the, not. In the amount of like $170,000? Absolutely not. Really? Yes. Okay. So that's not you doing that? No, it's not. But, but, but do, 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 does the frequency ring a bell that you're donating that much every like 10 times a day sometimes? No. 10 times a day. And look at how skeezy this is. $10, $15, $10, $15. The amounts are so low that they are too, that they would, you know, <clears throat> wouldn't ring any alarm bells. But this is what they're expect us to believe is that these Democratic donors, and maybe it's true on the right too. Hopefully they take a look at whoever is a big right-leaning individual fundraiser person. But 10 times a day? I don't think so, Tim. No. no. Do you think someone is maybe fraudulently um, well, debiting your be. accounts or something? They must be. Act Blue is the one I use for political right. donations. Yep. And I do not make that kind of political donations. Right. Uh, so right here. Um, yeah, it's 18,672 different contributions that total an amount of $170,000 and 221 cents. No, 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 no. Some. So then interestingly, also, and by the way, watch the whole video because the, it's, it's wild. I'm about to call Garland Riggs. He's the excessive small amount donor. Uh, 31,073 individual contributions were made. 31,000. Uh, under his address. He's 80 years old. He lives on the outskirts of D.C. So many people across the country, I'm going to call him and see if I can make a contribution in his name and see how he responds. He's so either people are calling these people and saying, hey, uh, you know, can I make a donation in your name? And they're just saying yes, which is possible. Uh, but the number of times this is happening, 
I wonder if you have like one big company that says, hey, can I make a donation in your name? And then to make it appear normal, they make a bunch of small donations. Either a victim of some type of conspiracy or he's a culprit himself. A lot of these phone numbers are available where you can find people's Hey there, Mr. Rick. This guy allegedly has donated $230,000. And again, this is a $175,000 house. Now, people live the way they want to live. I'm not making any, you know, they may be a Luxembourger and have little stacks, literal stacks of cash everywhere. But again, it's the frequency in, in the small amounts that is just impractical. And you'd have to spend all day donating. Briggs, yes. James O'Keefe, just asking about those contributions we spoke this on the guy. phone. Um, have you donated to Act Blue in the past? I don't believe so. You, you're listed as someone who's given um, over 31,000 individual contributions to, to various causes for a total of $230,000 using your name and this address. No, that's, that's not us. That's not you? No. Nope. Have you ever donated to, to Act Blue? Or I think my wife has, but, but nowhere near. Are you aware that people are using your, your name? So what's what's possible here is you have soup, like these fundraising packs that are using Democratic voters who maybe have donated in the past or they're calling them and they're saying, hey, can we launder our money through you? Can we donate our money, your money to Joe Biden? And who wouldn't say yes? If you're already a Democratic voter, right? They look you up. You're already a Democratic voter. Now, I don't know if this is what's happening. This is speculation. They see you voted for, let's say someone called me. Trump was running for president. And they're like, hey, can we donate $1,000 in your name to Donald Trump? I'd be like, sure. Go ahead. It's your money, right? Well, I suppose now I'd be like, wait a minute. But the reality is, apparently, super big mega corporations are or you know, donor political donor groups are using Democratic voters to funnel huge amounts of money and try to cover it up by tiny, you know, a tiny little uh, donations. Twenty Watch have submitted a lawsuit to the U.S. District Court of Maryland regarding this grievance, but we're also aware of this happening in many other states. Is it happening in yours? We need some fearless citizen journalists with enough. And this is the part where he makes a pitch to join O'Keefe Media Group, which I absolutely love. Wow, great job, James and team. And uh, I'm looking forward to more individual reporters and hopefully a follow up on some people going to jail on this. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like on it and we'll talk to you again real soon.